friends, my name is Nicole and I'm from Metro. Metro is a small government here in the Portland area and we're in charge of quite a few things. We help cities with their planning. We are in charge of a lot of parks and venues, including the zoo, and we're in charge of the region's trash. We like to teach others on how to make less trash, which is one of the reasons why I'm here today is to share a story with you about a certain type of trash called plastic. Now this story is really special to my family and myself. It's called Captain Green and the Plastic Scene, written by Evelyn Bookless and illustrated by Danny Deeptown. Let's get started, shall we? Hooray, said Captain Green. It's time to practice my superhero skills. He swooped and he soared and then he declared, it is I, Captain Green, the caped captain of clean, protecting planet Earth from pollution and grime. He aimed his green beam at litter and foul-smelling fumes. Zap, bam, pow! Oh, oh, watch out, kitty! But while flying and flipping and diving and dipping, he crashed, slam! Oh, oh green gravy! Just then, his watch glowed. Someone is calling. He set off in a flash, but... He froze in midair when he saw what it was. Dolphin was all tangled up. Do not fear, the captain is here. And Captain Green spun like a whirlwind, going faster and faster, whoosh! <gasps> then he snatched the junk and zoomed straight up, unraveling Dolphin as he flew. Awesome. Phew, thank you, said Dolphin. I couldn't escape. There's plastic everywhere. Wow, look at all that. Dolphin was safe, but still looked sad. Hmm. Well, Seal fish said they had been hurt too. I'll get to the bottom of this, said Captain Green, but he wasn't sure how. Hmm. As he flew, he wondered where the plastic could come from. And suddenly his watch glowed again. Seagull was sputtering and gasping for air. Do not fear, the captain is here. Using his super strength, Captain Green lunged towards a bird, grabbed him by the waist, and squeezed his belly. Oof! Out came some plastic. You saved me. Oh, thank you, said Seagull. I thought I was eating food. Hmm. Seagull was better, but he looked worried. I'll take care of this, said Captain Green. He sped off as fast as a rocket, whew, hoping to solve the plastic puzzle. Soon, his watch glowed once more. Oh no, Turtle was in trouble. His, her flipper was stuck. Oh goodness, plastic again. Do not fear, the captain is here. Captain Green swooped down, pointed his aim, and zapped, pow! It vanished. <sighs> I'm getting better at this, he thought. What a relief, thank you, said Turtle. I couldn't go back to the sea. Turtle was free, but still looked troubled. Captain Green's heart sank. The beach is such a mess. Look at all that. Hmm. He flew off, determined to help his friends. Oof. Poof. Whoosh. <gasps> Mission complete. But then, it keeps coming, said Turtle. Captain Green gasped. <gasps> My green mess. I know what's causing this. He closed his eyes and he thought about his superhero school days. And yes, he knew 
what to do. Captain Green shone his signal and the people gazed up. I am Captain Green, the caped captain of Green. He boomed, everyone, stop. The oceans are being ruined by all this plastic. The animals are in danger. We need to work together. Then he shared his plan for all to see. Huh, I wonder what's in his plan. Oh, it's right there. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Ha! Huh. Reduce. Use less. We, didn't, we don't need all of this plastic. Sounds good to me, said Dolphin. Reuse. Huh. Use things again. Captain Green showed some children how to make spaceships out of empty bottles and bits. They look great, chirped the seagull. Recycle. You, if you can't reduce or reuse, put waste in the recycling place. Then used things can be changed into new things. Green-tastic, said Turtle. And shazam. Oh, look, they built a new uh, play structure. Thank you, everybody, said the animals. Let's keep our oceans clear and clean and use the three R's to be green. Captain Green zoomed up high. I'm Captain Green, the caped captain of clean. Everyone cheered, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Remember now, you don't need superpowers to save the seas. It just takes a superhuman. Keep it green, my friends. Wow, what an interesting book. You know, Captain Green's right. You. You don't need to have superpowers in order to make a difference. In fact, you can practice the three R's in your very own home. It's pretty easy. You wanna learn some more? Well, stick around and I have a fun activity that we can do together. Mm -hmm.